What's up, guys? Tekshan here, back with another video, another Shande, another cool tech episode. Sit back and enjoy, and make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to support individual creators like me. I hope you guys will do it. All right. All right. First product on my list is something that will make you say, "Wow." Check this out, a cool sports car. Well, looks uber cool, right? And I know many of you guys will think it's a remote toy car, but nah, this is a stereo speaker that you can connect to your laptop, desktop, whatever and enjoy good audio. Wow! Build is super cool. Back you have the control buttons, on off switch, mode control, next previous volume up and down. Below you have the aux for wired connection. Then a charging port, cable is in the box. Then a full USB and a micro SD card port for you to play songs directly from it. Bottom you have the speaker vent. It is a 3 watt speaker and here a battery compartment. Single charge can get you about 2 to 3 hours backup, but if connected to your computer, you can keep it powered with the USB cable. Now the cool thing is the wheels are movable. Nice. All right, coming to the audio. Very good loud audio with enough thump. Here is a sample. Overall, this is an amazing sports car shaped unique stereo speaker that you can have on your desk, which will surely make hits turn. Can be a wonderful gift as well. For around rupees seven hundred, a cool one to own or gift. Wanna grab one? We'll leave the best link in the description. Check it out. All right, second product on my list is sort of like a must have during these COVID times. Meet Covid Shelf. This is an at-home COVID rapid antigen test kit that you can use at your convenience to test yourself for COVID infection. This was recently introduced and is gaining traction. Single pack costs around rupees two fifty, and you can get it from the nearest medical store or from Flipkart. Let me show you how it works. In the pack, you have a sterile swab, a testing card, a pre-filled extraction tube, a bag to dispose once you're done testing, and a user manual, which is a must-read. First, sanitize your hands. Now, the testing card has a code which you can scan on the app to know the results if needed. Now, as you can see, the testing card has a C and T. Now, once you have used it and a line appears on C, then you're not positive. But if you also get a line on T, that indicates you are positive. Next, take the pre-filled extraction tube and open it up. Now, take the sterile swab provided. Make sure not to touch the end that goes into your nose. Insert it into your nose a little deep and rotate it five to six times so that it touches on all sides. Then put the swab in the extraction tube and shake it a bit. All right, now close the tube and pour a few drops of liquid in the test card and wait for 15 minutes. <coughs> 15 minutes later. So here is my test results. That's a huge relief. It's negative. As said, the line is only on C and not T. It's positive if also a line appears on T. Once you drop the liquid, the results that appear within 15 minutes is only valid. If it crosses 20 minutes, for whatever reason, the result that appears after that is not valid. Keep that in mind. If you turn out to be positive in the card, further tests are not needed. Contact the nearest hospital to get yourself treated. But if you still have strong symptoms and it says negative, then it's better to get yourself tested in a lab. Anyways, after you're done testing, carefully use the disposable bag and dispose the contents safely. Voila, that's it. Wasn't that quick and simple? For around rupees two fifty, an affordable quick test that can give you peace of mind. Because these days, many panic for common cold and other viral fever, thinking it to be COVID. In those scenarios, this can help as a first line of test to confirm to some extent. Definitely a must-have one to buy and keep at home. We'll leave the best link in the description. Check it out. All right, next product on my list is something unique and a must-have one during these COVID times. You might have used sunglasses. How about a sunglass-style face shield? Yup, check this out: the Steelbird sunglass face shield. And boomba, here it is. This is a wear-on goggle-style lightweight face shield that you can just wear like a sunglass and step out. It's made of polycarbonate, super light in weight. What I have here is the chrome finish model. You also get a transparent model if you don't want the chrome finish. When you wear the chrome finish, boom! This is how it looks. Kinda gives you an alien look. It's like you can see the world when you wear it, but others cannot see your face. Well, might make it stern, but handy during bike rides, etc. If you want to lay low, then the all transparent model is a good option. This nose piece you can remove in case you wear glasses. The idea behind this is to wear something light in weight yet protecting you to some extent. Do note, not everything is 100% protective, but always an added layer of security is better, isn't it? This is well suited for narrow face adults, especially kids, and yep, women too. 
but for broad face people i won't recommend it but hey yes can be used with the mask overall a lightweight goggle style face shield which you can check out the chrome model costs around rupees 799 and the transparent model for around rupees 499 we'll leave links to both models in the description check it out All right, next product on my list is for those looking out for a smartwatch. Meet the Zebronics Zepfit 4220CH. Well, this is a cool smartwatch with all the smart features you would expect with an added bonus of a calling feature directly from the smartwatch when paired to your smartphone. Let me show it to you in detail. And boom, here is the Zepfit 42. Never mind. The watch in my opinion is built like a rock. Excellent build quality. Combination of metal and plastic. The strap is silicon. This watch is IP67 water resistant. So sweat, rain, no worries. Now coming to the display, it has a large 3.3 inch TFT color touch display. Definitely a large dial. I like how we have the minute marking on it. And each dot representing 1 minute. Nice. You have two buttons, one a power and wake button and another to access common features and settings like stopwatch, alarm, countdown, brightness, bluetooth toggle, vibration and more. To the back you have the heart rate sensor, magnetic charging point, inbuilt mic and speaker. Swipe from bottom for text notification previews, from top for settings. As far as feature goes, download the Zepfit app on your smartphone and you can change up to 100 plus watch faces, which is totally amazing guys. On the watch you have the pedometer, steps, calories tracking, sleep tracking, heart rate monitoring with continuous tracking, training with different modes. Then phone. When your watch is paired with your phone, you can receive calls and directly speak from your watch as it has an inbuilt speaker and mic. You can also make calls directly from the watch. Cool, right? It's good for indoor conditions but not that helpful in outdoor noisy environments. Still a handy feature to have. So, how's the watch quality? Oh, it's good. Let me get. Just checking something. Yeah, the Zetronics uh recent smartwatch. Oh. With the Bluetooth calling feature. So, any disturbance in my voice? No. I don't. Uh, is it is it clear uh, like I'm speaking from a smartphone? Okay then. Fine. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Then you have blood pressure monitoring, blood oxygen monitoring, weather, camera control, music player control, and other common stuff. On the battery backup, single charge gets you about eight to ten days without Bluetooth calling, and with calling, four to five days solid. Overall this watch costs around rupees 3999 and in my opinion if you're looking for a good smart watch with calling feature then options in this range are limited looking from that aspect yep a good watch to consider if you don't want the calling feature you do have more budget friendly models that cost way less in Zebronix itself which i've already covered we'll leave links to those watches as well in the description check it out all right time for the special product of this video and this time something super handy Check this out the 9 mini chest. This is a nice storage box with 9 mini drawers that you can use to store variety of things. Build is good, all plastic. You can place it either on your desk or even wall hang it using the slots provided. Each drawer has a small handle of sort so you can easily pull them and being transparent, you can see whatever is stored in each drawer. This can be used to store stationary items. cosmetics jewelry small tools and if you have elders at home medicines will be very helpful and lot more i can keep on giving you examples list goes on and on being super compact this drawer can fit in anywhere and the drawers as well are compact enough without occupying much space compact king last week you escaped but not this week and you uttered compact twice this time yippee Exclusive Texan comparison time. Well, if I have to say, the size of the whole storage box is approximately in the size of a 500 gram Taj Mahal tea pack, and the size of an individual drawer is approximately in the size of a 75 gram Savlon soap. What? Yup, crazy but true. Another exclusive Texan comparison. Overall, a nine drawer storage box organizer, whatever you want to call it, for around rupees 550, comes in handy at home 
office and many other places. Wanna grab one? We'll leave the best bell link in the description. Check it out. So that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in another exciting video. Until then.